Any takers? In your turn. Lucy's armor is put on before every scene and taken off when they're done shooting. I noticed it's carried around in a small ice chest. There's no ice in it, though. I checked. Spraying his spray everywhere. All over the place. Big way. Did anybody just hear what Simon said? Just in case. We never listen to Simon. Alrighty. Pay no attention. In this episode, you should be looking for the yams in every shot. That's the secret. There's a yam in every shot. I decided if I was going to visit Zena's horses, I'd travel the old-fashioned way. Which horse is this? This is Tilly. Okay. Tilly is about 12. Uh -huh. Zena's horse, okay. um, the main horse that Zena rides. There's a real relationship between Lucy and Tilly. Um, Lucy trusts Tilly, and Tilly um, is just the perfect horse for her to ride. So it's a great partnership. And who's leading Barbie? Um, Bex. Bex is our Xena riding double uh -huh. and um, has been for the entire series. And how old is, is uh, Barbie? She's actually um, about 17 now, um, which in horse years is getting mm -hmm. on a little bit. And what does Barbie do? Barbie is our nodding double. She nods, she counts and she rears. And who are we meeting next? This is Mac. Right. And Trisha. And, and Trisha, who is? Trisha is our Gabrielle riding double. Right. Mac's a very big horse. He's a very round horse. Round horse. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, and he's actually a quarter horse cross yeah. and in breeding. Um, he's about 16 uh -huh. years old now. He's jumped fire and he's particularly good with things like wind machines, scenes with leaves and things, and mix great. When they finally arrive at Gabrielle's old home, her fears about her welcome are growing stronger. Meanwhile, Lucy's playing vocabulary games with Greg. Penumbra. You can build that. Thank you, Holy fright, what is penumbra? <laughs> penumbra is like a shadow, a shadow around someone. Oh. Were you lying when you said yep. that you were Webster's? Okay. Would you have known what the number was? <laughs> well, you can have a, you can have a hit I song. Told, I told him I wrote Webster's, Webster's Dictionary. He was asking me, well, you know, what books I've written. And the fact that I didn't know the number was, you know, it was a problem for him. <laughs> the days are long, and it was really nippy when these outdoor scenes were shot. Lucy treated the crew to French fries, which she happily ran around handing out. Okay. Hi, Willa. Where are you going? Oh, just in here to get made up older, you know? This is me before. Right. You're going to be 25 years older when you come out. Yeah. It's exciting. Not many girls get to do that in a day's work, I tell you. Tell Sadie. Very, very nice. That told me everything. Take two tail sleep for a camera. So good. I know that people, when they see the shows, all they see is the, the actors. And what they don't realise is that there are at least 40 other human beings with full lives and personalities that the minute the camera's not rolling, we're back to being with them and with our friends. And this is the reason why Renee and I never get too big for our boots, because there's these, just these wonderful human beings working really hard and, and, um, and, and we respect them so much that we know we're just one cog in the machine. Gabrielle has just found out her parents were murdered, and Renee is discussing her reaction with Michael. This was a really emotional scene, and you can see Lucy giving Renee space as she works on it. Both Lucy and Renee have talked about the emotional space an actor sometimes needs to prepare for a scene. 
As Lucy plays YMCA with one of the crew, she notices Renee's concentration, and you can see her move the game away. I gave away a helicopter for a rain machine. <laughs> and in the end, it's far more dramatic. Uh, as Gabrielle, as Renee, decides that she's going to embark on a course of vengeance, the skies open in the rain. It's quite Shakespearean, really. And as she decides to sort of wage mortal war on her own soul, she gets drenched and kind of, I find it very dramatic. Zena, my niece may still be in that harem. We'll go after her first thing in the morning. If she's there, we'll get her out. Zena, this is not just a rescue mission. I want vengeance! Blood, Gabrielle. Blood will have blood. Don't talk to me about consequences, Zena. That man murdered my mother and father. Now I kill him. The rain scene was big and complicated, and it gave us a chance to see just how efficiently the crew works together. I'm always amazed at the fact that I never hear anyone giving instructions, yet everyone seems to know what to do. You're in trouble, it looks like. That looks like it's raining to me. Mikey, that was cold. Fantastic. Now, you may have felt that was over the top, but the whole thing is over the top, don't you? Thank you very much. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. Morning. Thank you both. Mr. Brabrick, Moonlick, Nick, the Nick, isn't it? Uh oh, okay. Right. Can you tell us a little bit about Rob's Folly? I gather it was made from something else? Yeah, we actually uh, we actually bought a used barge and then built the superstructure on, onto the top of it. So we needed something that would be very stable for shooting, and we also needed something that would be big enough. And, you know, it's very hard to, especially in this part of the country, go and find a period boat that you can use. So we had to basically build it from the ground up and uh, something that we could then also build camera platforms and everything else on to, to make it work properly. Uh, but yeah, it was probably three or four years ago we built it. It was, you know, another one of Rob's harebrained schemes. Yeah, I want to build a boat, and we all went, oh, God. The fisherman was yeah. a boat, yes. Exactly. As long as, and he, uh, he even had us install it with a couple of those little poles at the back so you can stick fishing poles in. I don't think he's ever used them, but, um, but they're there, it. yes. Okay. Okay. Casual sea leg. Tie up. You coming, Sue? No. No. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. It's interesting, this boat, we were in the, in the middle of the bay, you've got shots of it, you know, it was beautiful, it was just so beautiful, and this gore in the harbour, it was all open and gorgeous, and so you're standing on this boat with all the space, and then you realise that the boat itself is tiny, and the space is at a premium, and actually I found it really intense, working with hot sun, uh, nowhere to go, Every, all the gear having to be moved all the time, as you will have seen. And uh, so it was great, and it'll look fantastic, but it was the most hiring day of all so far. You've uh, got a new outfit on. Yeah, it's um, my WWF wrestling outfit now, Gabrielle. It's a little velvet. It's, um, it's actually red velvet. I think it, it reads quite differently on camera. Apparently, it, it absorbs the light. <laughs> But they were looking for something that um, would have a textured material like leather, but softer than leather. So that's why they went with the, a cloth. What did they change? Just looking to soften Gabrielle a bit and make her a little more feminine. It's a very similar style, but it's just a cloth. It's a different color. Rob um, specifically wanted to bring back uh, a colorful side of Gabrielle as opposed to the brown leather. Yeah. Blend in a little yeah, too it was a little too to similar to, to, to Lucy's. Is it as comfortable? Oh, you know, I mean, it's short. <laughs> I don't know if it's comfortable. No, it's, um, it's, uh, everyone laughs because it seems as if my costumes get shorter and shorter, but I'm, I'm swearing that it's very similar. That's what your mom says, right? Oh, no, no, it's all the, the gang here. They just go, man, you know, put, put some clothes on. Has <laughs> it got the, the shorts on underneath? Which you mentioned um, about the old one, you said they were these, orange This is an pants. actual skirt, so um, I do have something underneath. 
that so that when I'm fighting, I have a bit of modesty, you know. <laughs> but yeah, we haven't actually filmed any fight scenes yet, so we'll see. Yeah. But yeah, so anyway, there you go. It's all silver. They they like this silver theme with Gabrielle. So yeah, similar tie. Um, freedom in the arms, you know. 